NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. Since its creation, the James Webb Space Telescope has recorded immense success. And amazingly, its first image remains celebrated for capturing the universe in clearer detail. Award-winning as the largest, most powerful, and most expensive telescope ever built, it is a proud bearer of the title through its numerous powerful images. Thus, let us take you through some of the most powerful images captured by this amazing telescope. Number 1. Cassiopeia A Supernovae With the availability of the James Webb Space Telescope, the wonders of the universe are not just confined to inaccessibility. The Cassiopeia Supernovae, also known as Cass A, is a stunning example of this, an exploding star captured by the telescope. The image is not only visually captivating, but also holds a great scientific value. The explosion of this star, which occurred over 340 years ago, has provided insights into the origin of cosmic dust known to be present in the earliest galaxies of the universe. Heavy elements ejected from the supernovae, including cosmic dust, have been identified as the source of this cosmic material but further research in this field is still required to fully understand this phenomenon. Number 2. Uranus at the Best View While it might seem that the James Webb Telescope's gaze would be best suited for far-off objects, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has proved us wrong by capturing an awe-inspiring image of Uranus. This image is a visual feast for the eyes, with details of the planet's fine and deepest ring system and its brightest moon and atmosphere brought to life in vivid detail. Can you imagine the sight? The image showcases the 11 known rings of Uranus, including some that are rarely seen and have only previously been observed twice by spacecrafts that have flown past the planet in 1986. Moreover, the image is a testament to the changing and dynamic nature of the universe with combined data from two filters highlighting a dense layer of fluid water, methane, and ammonia above Uranus's small rocky core. The image of Uranus is not just visually stunning, but it also highlights the weird and wonderful nature of our universe. But that's not all. The image is rare, showing the right side of the ice giant brightening at Uranus's North Pole ice cap, which is facing the sun. This is the first time this aspect of the polar cap has been observed making this image all the more remarkable. While other telescopes' advanced images may not have captured this particular feature, the JWST has certainly made up for it by revealing the mysteries of Uranus in all its glory. Number 3. Neptune in a New Light There's certainly more to be wowed about this, as the James Webb Space Telescope has just captured an incredible image of Neptune that reveals the ice giant in a whole new light. It's the first time we've gotten a detailed look at Neptune's ring system in over 30 years. And let me tell you, it's a sight to behold. So what's so exciting about this new image is that it shows some fainter dust rings around Neptune that even Voyager 2, the spacecraft that flew past the planet back in 1989, couldn't reveal. It's a pretty big deal. Now, one point of notice is that Neptune doesn't look quite as blue in the JWST image as in the photos taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. That's just because the JWST sees Neptune in near-infrared light, which means the planet appears fairly dark in regions that are not covered by bright, high-altitude clouds. But don't worry, there are still many fascinating features. The image's bright spots in Neptune's southern hemisphere are among its most eye-catching features. These are high-altitude ice clouds that reflect sunlight before it is absorbed by the methane in the clouds. And if you look closely, you can also spot a continuous band of high-latitude clouds surrounding a previously known vortex at Neptune's southern pole. But that's not all. Possible evidence for the worldwide circulation of Neptune's atmosphere generating winds and storms across the ice giant is a narrow, faint band of light surrounding the planet. Even closer inspection reveals an unusual feature near Neptune's northern pole, which is hidden from view by the JWST's position, roughly a million miles from Earth. And let's not forget about the moons. 
In this new image, we can see seven of Neptune's 14 known satellites, including Triton, a bright light point just above the ice planet. Triton is coated by a frozen layer of condensed nitrogen, reflecting around 70% of the sunlight that falls on it, making it shine even brighter than Neptune itself. Now, you might be thinking, Neptune? But one thing is sure, the fact that we are still discovering new things about our own solar system is pretty cool. Number 4. The Pillars of Creation Prepare to be amazed by the newest image of the iconic Pillars of Creation, now brought to life by the James Webb Space Telescope. These magnificent column-shaped clouds of interstellar dust and gas, located in the Serpents constellation some 7,000 light-years away, were made famous by the Hubble Space Telescope back in 1995. But the James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with the near-infrared camera, NearCam, has taken things to a whole new level, revealing intricate fine structures of the clouds and showcasing hundreds of newly born stars sparkling inside. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to detect infrared light has allowed it to peer through the clouds and capture stunning images of protostars springing to life from the coalescing dust. While the Hubble Space Telescope also attempted to look inside the nebula, Webb's results far exceed those attempts thanks to its much stronger infrared detectors. Researchers will be able to update their star formation models with the aid of this unprecedented level of detail and clarity and get a better grasp on how stars form and explode out of these dusty clouds over the course of millions of years. The James Webb Space Telescope recently captured images of the pillars of creation that are softer and more intricately constructed with vivid red lava flows around the margins of some of the clouds. In the clouds and the surrounding universe, they also depict a great deal more stars. The James Webb Space Telescope project is a partnership between NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA. They also explained that these lava flows are material ejected by forming stars, which collide with clouds of material and result in bow shocks that form wavy patterns similar to a boat moving through the water. The stunning crimson glow in the image comes from energetic hydrogen molecules that result from jets and shocks. Now that the Eagle Nebula, where the pillars of creation are situated, is part of the Milky Way galaxy, Webb can see the pillars against the thick ring of our galactic home, which blocks the view of the farthest reaches of the cosmos. This new image is breathtakingly beautiful and holds the promise of unlocking new insights into the mysteries of star formation and the evolution of our universe. Number 5. A Pandora Cluster This is where we tell you to hold on to your hats, space enthusiasts, and here's why. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, released a stunning image of a Pandora's cluster, a region of space known as Abel 2744. The powerful space telescope, using a phenomenon predicted by Einstein in 1915, was able to reveal previously hidden details from the region and uncover the merger of three already massive clusters of galaxies, forming a megacluster of galactic proportions. But where did the nickname Pandora's Cluster come from, you ask? We'll have to look to Greek mythology, where Pandora's curiosity leads her to open a container that unleashes all the evils and hardships that now exist in the world. And while we hope that the JWST didn't do just that, its powerful infrared instruments could zoom in on this region of space and reveal previously undiscovered secrets. What does the image show? A crowded galaxy field on a black background with one large star dominates the image, just right from the center. Three areas are concentrated with larger white hazy blobs on the left, lower right, and upper right above a single star. Scattered between these areas are many smaller light sources. Some also have a hazy white glow, while others are red or orange. The galaxies of Pandora's cluster a collection of existing huge clusters of galaxies merging to form a megacluster are the brilliant white objects surrounded by a hazy haze. As part of the ultra-deep near-spec and near-cam observations before the epic of the reionization uncover program, 
The JWST team utilized the telescope's near-infrared camera, NearCam, and the near-infrared spectrograph, NearSpec instruments, to take the picture. They merged together four JWST snapshots to produce a panoramic picture with astonishing 50,000 infrared light sources. Fascinatingly, astronomers used both human-made technology and a natural phenomena that Albert Einstein originally described in his 1915 magnum opus, The General Theory of Relativity, to see this cluster of clusters. According to general relativity, mass objects should strain the fundamental fabric of space, altering it in a manner akin to pressing items against a stretched rubber sheet to leave dents in the sheet, similar to how heavier balls would make larger, more pronounced dents in the sheet. Massive cosmic objects strain the fabric of space. This curvature can be so extreme that it bends light as it travels through it. Why does this matter? A background object's location in the sky may appear to have changed if light from the object passes through the very massive body in the foreground on its way to Earth. There may be other effects of this gravitational lensing. In some cases, the lensing object or front mass object might actually assist enhance the light coming from the background objects. This amplification makes it possible for the JWST, which is already extremely strong, to view light from far off and consequently early galaxies that would otherwise be too dim to observe. Because the background object's light travels around the lensing object along various paths with various velocities, 